All set to go with the street stock final. Daniel Stanley and Matt Hammond on the front row. Run it away, 12 laps the journey as they go anti-clockwise around the trade higher Augusta Market River Speedway. And the Williams Motorsport, Lewin Tires, Ford Falcon leads them down the back straight. For the first time, Matt Hammond, who had a heat win earlier tonight, has to, has to be settled for second at the moment. And look at Jason Wild getting amongst it early. Car number 11 from Josh Aspinall, Steve Rodley, Gavin Yates, Jack Favreau back out there, minus the left door on car number 118. Mitchell Woods and Brendan Vickers are the nine cars out on track in this street stock finale. But Daniel Stanley leads the way from Matt Hammond, Jason Wild, Josh Aspinall and Steve Rodley. So the way they run, Steve Rodley in the blue and tires number 19. Jack Favreau making good progress early in this street stock final. He's up in the sixth place from the back of the bus. He started in P9. And the Ovex Industries Falcon is now six, but three down and nine remaining. Daniel Stanley, who went to Shark Bay last year to uh, contest the Far Western Championships, leads the way from Matt Hammond and Jason Wild, who started from the back of the field tonight in car number 11 as well back in throughout the, uh, the night in the field, but has uh, really got the Falcon humming. Qualified himself in the first couple of rows after starting rear of field in the heat races. And sits inside the top three. Jack Favreau's uh, good run in this feature race has come to an end. He takes car number 118 to the infield. So he's disappointing night. Finishes with a uh, non-finish. Look at this, it's getting willing for the race lead between Matt Hammond and Daniel Stanley. Daniel Stanley tried to close the door on car number four. And uh, Matt Hammond now has the lead. Daniel Stanley, he might have some steering damage to the Falcon. He falls back to third. Jason Wild is now second. Daniel Stanley has gone from the race lead back to third in the blink of an eye. Matt Hammond got the run on him. And Daniel Stanley just couldn't close the door in time. Steve Rodley and Josh Aspinall having a great battle for fourth and fifth. And a long way back to Gavin Yates, Mitchell Watts. And Brendan Vickers, who are about to go a lap down on our race leader, Matt Hammond, as it gets a little bit hot in the kitchen for our race leader, Matt Hammond, and the catch on a beef Commodore. Got uh, checked up behind Mitchell Woods and Brendan Vickers that time around. We're over halfway home. Seven down and five remaining in this street stock final as Daniel Stanley now takes back second place from Jason Wild, who got inconvenienced in a uh, serious fashion by... Mitchell Woods in Canada 22. Mitchell Woods wouldn't even be aware that Jason Wild is there. And the 22 is well out of harm's way. He's had a spin on the exit of turn number four and the yellow lights have come on. Mitchell Woods in Canada 22. Mitchell Woods wouldn't even be aware that Jason Wild is there. And the 22 is well out of harm's way. He's had a spin on the exit of turn number four and the yellow lights have come on. Mitchell Woods in Canada 22. Mitchell Woods wouldn't even be aware that Jason Wild is there. And the 22 is well out of harm's way. He's had a spin on the exit of turn number four and the yellow lights have come on. Matt Hammond, drama. The race leader is on the infield. Oh, all out of noise. He was originally gonna be relegated two positions under this stoppage for contact. On car number 18, we saw that happen a couple of laps prior to the stoppage, but he's had enough. Matt Hammond has parked it on the infield with a issue with the Kachana Beef Holden Commodore. So a depleted field to uh, contest the final few laps of this street stock final. And Daniel Stanley, who went back to third place at one point, now finds himself in the race lead. I don't think our Chief Steward Benny Hans is really happy with where the 22 car Mitchell Woods is currently situated. Just going to push back the Ford Falcon a little bit further infield. So we'll get this one back underway this time around. Daniel Stanley, who probably thought there for a few moments, victory might have slipped through his fingers, finds himself back in the race lead. Jason Wilde and Steve Rodley. Uh, your top three, Josh Aspinall, Brendan Vickers and Gavin Yates. The six cars remaining in the street stock feature race. 
Over 12 circulation, so four to run. And uh, the Lewin Tires Falcon leads the way into Pitts Corner from Jason Wilde and another Lewin Tires back Falcon and Steve Rodley rounding out your top three. Josh Aspinall, Brendan Vickers and Gavin Yates is the way they run on this wonderful Saturday night here in the southwest. The trade hire, Augusta Market River Speedway and on his home deck, Daniel Stanley we looking to take home the feature race win as he brings the 18 out of turn four and down the front straight from Wild, Rodley, Aspinall, Gavin Yates and Brendan Vickers who's backed by CB Graphics is the way they run but the white flag being prepared for our race leader car number 18 of Daniel Stanley Jason Wild has been very impressive tonight find himself up in second place from Steve Rodley Josh Aspinall, Gavin Yates and Brendan Vickers are the six cars out on track but after a heat win earlier tonight, he's going to break through for the feature race win on his home track. Car number 18, Daniel Stanley will take the victory from Jason Wilde, Steve Rodley, Josh Aspinall in the seven. Further back will be Gavin Yates, the lone Commodore to complete the distance. And car number 99 of Brendan Vickers will be the last car home. But I'm sure there's plenty of family, in the fr family and friends in the house for Daniel Stanley. Let's give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, as he comes in down the front straight. He'll be quite pleased to take home the victory. As, uh, the engine's sounding a little bit rough after the uh, 